Tears and despair rent the atmosphere as residents of Eshun Ekiti and Imojo Ekiti mourn the passing away of their monarchs, Oba Babatunde Ogunshaking and Oba Olushola Olatunde, who were killed by unsuspected gunmen or unidentified gunmen while returning to their communities after attending a Security Council meeting in Ipao Ekiti. Residents say they were disappointed in the security situation along the border communities in Ekiti and claimed that the killings of the monarchs was an assassination. Meanwhile, during his condolence visit to the affected communities, Governor Biodun Oyebanji assured them that the perpetrators will be apprehended and made to face the wrath of the law. We're in grief, I'm in pain right, as a way to have lost a, two permanent cabinets in Oye and Ikoi local government. But the weapons, like I say, the weapons used by the bandits, um, AK 47s, they saw them with uh, pump actions, and our local security owns Dane guns. Dane guns cannot you know, uh, combat these criminalities. So, therefore, I want to urge the federal government to remember the regional policing and community policing and increase their capacity. We have the manpower, they are fortified, but they needed to also carry equal I mean, uh, ammunition so they can be able to combat and suppress this level of criminalities across the borders and forests of Adjoining CDA. Where the community, like I told Mr. Governor, Mr. Cosmo, have been here on a consulate's visit, and I told him the community believed that the KBZ were assassinated and that they should use all the security granted to help fish out the killers. And there will be useful information to the security apparatus, which I know that they will work on to get some people arrested. His phone is intact. The money that is with him is intact. They didn't go for any of those things. So it's not a, maybe a kidnapping show. Sure. It's just um, like assassin. But God knows everything. We may not know as human beings, but God sees everything and knows everything. Though everything is dark to us, but God sees everything. Uh, this is an affront on us as a people. And it's a sacrilege against it such an institution. But I'm grateful and thankful to Mr. President, who was on the phone with me for close to one hour yesterday, to commiserate with the Haiti people, and to also give the appropriate directive to the security agencies to fish out the perpetrator of this dastardly uh, act. I have absolute confidence in the ability of the security agencies to fish out these people. On our part as a government, we continue to step up um, our efforts at securing our people because that is why we are that is why we are here so my message to all these criminals is that if it is state is going to be too hot for them we are going to go after them hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates